this characters. They say the bytes that get sent in a stream. And so the buffered reader reads the like, characters, the like, letters, the numbers that we can read and understand. And so in between that, so we passed it the the input stream into the input stream reader which converted the bytes into characters um, and so and converted it into a reader and we put it into the buffered reader this this has en enabled us to actually get input from the client into the server and so what we've done is say message was a string and we said it equaled the input which we called the buffered reader dot read line and we printed out system out print from socket and the message we received then we sent a message back um, to the the client print stream ps we called it new print stream this was the socket again ss we called the the socket ss which accepted the uh, connection get output stream and so this get output stream again it's a stream um, but we're printing a stream print stream is different from buffered reader because the reader is characters that we understand and the stream is bytes so we sent bytes across the network and so we've done ps and print line and this is what we sent to other the, the client server the client socket from server with love and so we printed out system print out socket connected to server OK and we closed uh, the connection and so we went to this, the, the socket then we can see that, that we, what we've done was print stream I've created a print stream and socket get output stream and because this is bytes and that's bytes we didn't have to convert it into a reader and so that was the only two and then we printed out, then we used a buffered reader to read input from a server and because it was a print stream we sent, we sent bytes so get input stream, converted it into a reader and then put it into the buffered reader and so the string we said input which we called the buffered reader read line and printed out server ok right so that was that was the print stream and the buffered reader which we used for for files and what we're going to use now is the data um, input stream yeah data input stream and data output stream instead of it's a stream but we've done data input stream and data output stream before and what it does instead of sending bytes it sends um, prim primitive data types um, and so you can send integers and receive integers and so that's what we're going to show you that stream and so to do that and um, what we're going to do is data output stream for print stream and if I change this to data um, out Pull that out, and so and this needs to be changed as well. Data, just open spell, not right. Output. Stream. And so we we'll take this away. What we're going to pass here is the name of the socket. Dot. Get output stream. I think that was already there. So what we're doing is. We're getting an output stream which is going to be bytes and so we're passing it into the data output stream and well, what is the data output stream we're going to pass something to here which is going to be sent um, as data from the get output stream to the server and so this has to be changed here this is out and what you'll find is if I do dot because because this is data output stream is different uh, methods to call and what we're going to call we're 
going to light something, right? Um, this here, um, it's not ASCII. Um, Jaffa, I don't know if you know that, but on the keyboard we've got right, the alphabet and the numbers that we can type, and so we can do things on a computer. Now, each one of these letters have, has a special code, and it's an ASCII code. Now, I'm using a keyboard for the English language. It's not a French one, Dutch one, German one, or whatever. Um, and so, that's normally an ASCII one. But the world is a big place. It's bigger than than the Western, the like, like um, the Western world. And so, from and once to outside the Western world, you've got bigger alphabets, you've got um, more characters. Um, you've got like like um, I don't know the name of the different languages characters, but you've got their characters plus our characters to be cared for. And so Jaffa is for everyone, all platforms, all countries, all networks, all whatever, right? And so it's it uses um, not the ASCII code, but the UTF, I think it's called. I'm not too sure what it's called, but it's like it covers every single character that will be used in the world, from Japanese, Chinese, etc., Arabic, and this is bigger than the ASCII code. So that's what this is here, UTF. It allows you to do string characters, and if you were using a different language, you'd be able to do that as well. But you can see that we can send an int. We've done that to files. We can do double characters, bytes. So with this data output stream, we can do all these primitive data types. And so what I'm going to do is this one here, because we're going to what we're going to send is a string. So the way I done it last time was like that. I'm just going to do the same. We're going to pass a string. Instead of creating a string and then passing the name of that string, we're just going to send this here. And so now to read in to read the information in from the server, instead of doing the buffered reader and the get input stream, what we're going to do is the data input stream. input that's good enough so we change this here it's just the exact same thing as that this is a type in a class and we create a new object of it the exact same thing again and we don't need to do this part here though we could put a buffered reader a buffered input stream in here and um, but we're not going to do it we're going to keep it simple and so what I'm going to do is change this name to data input stream. Th this is sort of getting used to all your streams. Once you know your streams, that's your way with files and network and all the rest of it. And the programs are, are much better if, if, if you're able to network and different things like that. You know, it's like if you can have a program of different people playing the same program of, over the internet or, or it's like the you're playing a game on your own computer but you're sharing the score um, data with your, with your friends so that each one knows what one got and you can be competitive that way something simple like that or, or you can do your own chat network and it would be private because both you and your friend have decided to talk to each other or a group of people and it's not going over like this network designed for messages so it's those copies and all the rest of it it would be just between you and your friends. So so it is quite good and Jaffa is straightforward with these things. It's um so without talking too much. And um, what I've done here is socket and get input, the exact same. So it's what we're using is a socket. And so socket's got all these methods inside it. So I do dot get input stream. So that's not changed. We've changed the stream we're using, and um, we didn't need the intermediate one, but we and we didn't need the buffered reader, so we've done the data input stream. But we could have had intermediate buffered input stream just to buffer it if we wanted to. This one here, normally that sign means that this this um, I'm not too sure. It means it means that 
this is a method you can use but it's no longer it's off date they've got something better a different method to use or something like that I'm not quite sure if that's straight line it's telling you something like that um, but what we are going to do we're not going to use that one anyway and so what we're going to do is input dot and we're going to read utf now what I'll show you is we could have done dot and we could have read an integer a byte a double a character so we could have um, read um, all sorts of different data types with that input stream so that's us change this one here we'll save the program and compile just to make sure that everything's okay and we'll run it's not I'm getting my with C plus plus so don't compile just run the program and um, socket there this is because it's not connected to the server we've still got to change the server in the exact same way and so I'm going to pause and just change it to save time you'll see it's exact same changes because this buffered read is going to get changed to um, data input stream um, and print stream is going to get changed to data output stream okay that's that's me changed them um, so data input stream and what we're doing is get input stream data output stream and we're getting the, the output stream to write and so what I didn't do in the socket is I didn't change ln to write utf that's important so go back there um, and you can see where did I do that right I did change it sorry I did <laughs> okay I did do that and input stream for yeah I did do that I don't know why I thought I'd never right and so so that's how dot write this and so if I save um, make sure this one's saved as well run the program socket error right we've got to run the server first and so it's Surfer first, and then it's running, right. and then do the socket. And you can see we've got from surfer, from surfer with rough. So, so that part's working. And what's exactly what's meant to happen with the surfer? See if I received this and then it sent this back to the socket. Okay. So what happened with Let's see if we can go to the CFA. Yeah, that's the CFA one there. Different console. So that's a that came from the the socket sent this from socket with rough and socket connected to save ok and if I change it to the the socket and that's what it received so so that's using that's using data input stream and this is important this one was the buffered input reader and um, the print stream now there's, there's a massive difference in what you're sending and what you're receiving and so the data input stream you can send integers, strings, characters, doubles, floats, long, short, all the data types um, and so so uh, what I'll show you, I'll show you if I do alt here dot this is all the things that you can do. What are all the, the right? You can send an array of bytes. You can integer an argument, bytes and arguments. There's that many constructors of for you can send many different things all at the same time. You can send boolean. You so so what you can do is true and false. And um, this can be the control signals when it gets through it. The surface to do something. Um, and so when it gets false it can also mean it's to do something or not 